Hey everybody, what we're looking at here is the Games Workshop Garden of More kit. Um, I'm actually putting it together for my local game store. Uh, it's just a kit they were given by GW for their train, and I decided to work on it because uh, I don't have much else to work on at the moment. So I'm going to be building this. So just some thoughts about this kit. First of all, it's very simple. There's four sprues, and what I did was I simply took everything off each sprue, cleaned it up, threw it in the box, and put it all together. Assembly time was literally like five minutes to get everything glued together. It's, it's just four simple four-sided buildings, a statue with a couple parts, some, and some uh, gravestones. Um, all, that I get, all in all, a very, very easy kit to put together. Um, cleaning up the mold lines, though, can be a pain if, you really, if you're one of those people who really can't stand mold lines. This will probably drive you insane trying to get all the mold lines off all these individual rungs of the fences. Since this is not for my train piece and it's probably just going to get destroyed at the store, I wasn't too worried about it. Also, these are pretty fragile up here. All these spikes and things everywhere are very fragile. Um, so it's very hard to not break everything off completely. There's a couple broken here already. And of course, the biggest problem is that it doesn't fit together. It's just kind of loose pieces. You can't glue the, the, the fences onto the individual pieces or even really together and have everything fit inside. It's kind of not really out of the box. It's not that great of a single terrain piece. If you want to spread out all these pieces over the course of a battlefield, that's different. But if you just want to build one little, or one actually good sized terrain piece, because this is fitting on my cutting board mat. This mat is just about the size of a piece of letter paper. Or so this is a, so all, all told, this is the same size as a piece of letter paper or A4 paper, somewhere right around in that range. Um, and even though it is a fantasy kit, this thing doesn't really look out of place in a 40k setting either. It could definitely be a gothic graveyard. The one thing I might consider doing is cutting this off the top of here and replacing it with a space marine, maybe even a primary space marine. And other than that, I mean, the whole thing is going to be stone, so it's just going to be, you know, dry brush gray. That might, might do, put some rust effects on the fences. And then, of course, there's a lot of skulls. <laughs> even more skulls than your average GW stuff. Even the fence, even the fence itself, or the gate itself, is a skull. So what I'm probably end up doing is getting a piece of foam or board or something to glue this all down. I also want to make sure I'm going to spread it all out because I want to make sure there's room for 40 millimeter base models to sit in anywhere in the, in the terrain piece. So I'd have to move the fences out. So there's going to be gaps in the fences around it, but that's fine because I want to make sure it's a playable piece more than just it looks. Now if you're going to build something for like a display board or a diorama or something, that would be amazing because then you could glue all these fences together. I'll probably squeeze everything in there, but for a playable terrain piece, it's going to need it's going to need a base. So that's kind of the one disappointment is this, it doesn't all glue together into a single piece of playable terrain. It's just a bunch of loose bits that kind of set up next to each other. So that's my quick overview of the Garden Moor. I, I said it looks absolutely fantastic. It is incredibly easy to put together, and if you do want to spread it, I mean, the, all these pieces here are individual pieces. So there's no reason that you could just leave these all separate and then spread them around your battlefield however you want, even the gate is separate. So you could definitely have various pieces of battlefield. You could, you know, spread the fence out into a straight line, make a wall out of it or something. There is, I mean, there's a lot of potential with this kit and I think it's just, it's just awesome how incredibly easy it is to put together and how well it looks. So. Yeah, that it. That covers my overview of the garden more. Definitely worth the pickup. I don't know how much it costs. And the one that I have is so old that it actually has the old pink color, the previous pink colors on them. Depth is battle gray, codex gray, east steel brown, and so on. Instead of the new colors on it. So that's how long this has been sitting around the store. So I'm going to figure out how to base this thing up into a train piece, and I'll talk to you later.